and it seems to me that ah, life is such a thief. It's like, uh, well, you know, it's like time. You know, uh, time like, uh, like, is it just robs you of things? Uh, you know, your memories. Memories of how things used to be. And then over time, they change. So your memories are, uh, basically all that stuff you had existed then, but these are of things that no longer exist. And it just robs you. You know, uh, just like, uh, it's like, I've had a lot of, uh, you know, ninja equipment, and, uh, all, everything that was made out of metal, I noticed if you didn't take care of it, it was just like the air itself, the ground, if you leave your knife laying out in the ground overnight, there'll be rust on it in the morning, it's like, it's, <laughs> life itself is just, it's extracting these things you know it's like your your possessions do you ha do you uh you know uh actually own your possessions or do your possessions own you that's basically what all this boils down to you know uh these beautiful rivers you know they uh carry away the mountains you know what i'm saying basically uh uh it's like uh as you know as you learn you learn things you know what i'm saying you uh grow up a little bit in your mind and in and in your thinking and all these things that you know you grow up thinking you know like uh believing in if you follow your dreams you know uh <laughs> they'll come true or whatnot and you know, for the most part, that's bull crap. Uh, that's fed to you to keep you running on the rat wheel. But as you grow, even wisdom, wisdom robs you of the innocence. You know, as being, uh, as when you're young, by uh, not knowing, you know, right or wrong, and just being, uh, uh, just having all the strength and the vitality to do anything, man, fucking, uh, that you set your mind to at the moment. <laughs> Things that are attainable for you, you know. Time, you know, and then wisdom. That it takes that innocence away, you know, that, uh, and then after you have that now, you can't never just. There's nothing, there's no areas left. It's not a lot of shadowy areas left where you don't understand about things. <laughs> and that in itself, the more of that that you attain, the less, you know, innocence there is left in your understanding, which is kind of a scary place to be. But it's just, like, you know, the technology nowadays... <clears throat> The more of these things that we become dependent on, the less we remember that we're human, the less we uh, are dependent on our human ingenuity. You know what I'm saying? Even now, ever since the uh, <coughs> the age of the cell phones, because I've been around since the very fucking beginning of that, as soon as that started. So in a way, I've already been conditioned in my mind to not remember numbers anymore. Like when I was a kid, I could remember everyone's phone number. And that's back when you had the phones that went, -ah, ah, yeah, for instance. And uh, that's, you know, something, uh, you know, I have the uh, lifespan experience to know. Because I've seen the difference. And ever since the cell phone, I don't even, I can't even remember anyone's number anymore <laughs> it's not because i'm stupid or anything it's just i became uh dependent 
on these machines to do the thinking and the remembering for me. <laughs> That's allowed me to put, you know, my uh, my energies elsewhere, though. Yeah, it saves you some time, but you, it, for, there's nothing in this world that you get that it doesn't cost some price. You know, and that's why life itself is a thief. Uh, and, and it's even the things that you, that are, are easily get, that you get easily, it's like, uh, they tend to flee the quickest. And then also, it's like anything that was taught to you or shown to you by someone else a lot of people, you know, can ha possess this, you know, information, but they never really went out and did anything. They didn't have to go slay dragons or go searching for buried treasure to get it. The people that had to go out and get it for themselves somehow, you know what I'm saying, had to just... It's like if you learned it, <laughs> if you learned it by your own free will, it's that much even harder to forget it. You know what I'm saying? That's where, you know, the uh, consumerism, even uh, academic world, is, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's not, it's mediocre, man. It's, uh, it's the old parable, man, of, uh, you know, the shoemakers. You know, one shoemaker makes 15 shoes a day, the other's. Shoemaker makes five, but they get paid the same. What incentive is there to strive? <laughs> you know. So, life life is just is just a thief. You know, time. Time robs you of your youth, but it also uh, elevates you in these uh, experience. So you got higher levels of empirical knowledge, and you it's like you've had. I think life. <laughs> Lives shouldn't re, uh, be even uh, remembered in years. I think they should be remembered in seasons. The hardest season is always the winter. You know, it, it's the most perilous, but though the summer has tornadoes and hurricanes, so, the, the, you know, life is a thief <laughs> uh, again. Uh, but, yeah, your life should be uh, measured in winters. That's, that's the way I... Uh, see it and so I guess this would be my uh, uh this would be my 30 my 36th winter because I was born in the winter so I have seen an extra winter <laughs> and I just realized the possessions thing man I've never even nothing anything I've ever had it's just been it's been either they got ate away got stolen, you know, or got burnt, it got abandoned, uh, the material things that, you know, that I mean, so, material things can always be replaced or reacquired, you know, uh, it's like a pirate, man, on his way home, uh, his ship full of, uh, of, of silver and gold, uh, rough seas, has to abandon ship, <laughs> and then roll away. Does that man just, you know, uh, give up and cry? Oh, I almost got it. No, I guess he goes and goes on another voyage. <laughs> you know, uh, basically. So that's how you got to look at possessions, man. Most of them end up, uh, you know, uh, forgotten, you know, or uh, lost somewhere where you can never get them back again. And you just got to learn to accept that. But the things, you know, for the most part, the things up here, the experiences of them, that even if, you know, if you're standing back, and, you know, uh, you watch the Joker burn a uh, pyramid of money, you know, for whatever reason, it ain't no sweat off your nuts, man. Because uh, that's what happens. You, you weren't born with none of that. You can't take it with you when you die anyway. So you just got to look at it different. And then maybe, just maybe, can man start to own his possessions again and not have his possessions own him. Because if I let possessions own me, I guess I would be ruined and crushed. But instead, you know, 
instead of using you know uh, knives and spikes and all these awesome materials you know now I'm throwing nails I'm back to where I've started throwing nails into cardboard <laughs> in the basement but I still have done all these other things already and <clears throat> by uh, by having them then losing them I, st I still have them in here and I can they're everywhere now now it's like whew, it's like shattering the matrix you know what I'm saying now it's like you can it is it, you see everything different the way you see that you don't see it no more in you know just normal terms it's all ones and zeros for you now <laughs> basically that's when uh you know possessions if you have them if you don't ah who well or oh well whatever I'm gonna keep uh the possessions that I need I, I cannot you know they're they're inside of you so it's a different way to see things and look at it and <clears throat> just realize life is a thief you know so you gotta take as much from it yourself at yourself dude now that I'm not saying anything criminal this is all metaphorical I'm saying here okay it's knowledge it's reaching out and grabbing it you know what I'm saying and then putting it in your little uh, putting it in your tool bag you know what I'm saying sticking it in your tool belt uh, basically but that's what's up